Well, if you're looking to add some flavor to your Thanksgiving turkey, but maybe don't know where to start, or maybe thinking about brining, why not try a dry rub? We're here with Shannon Stoddard of Wingalings Barbecue, and you say you've got a, a fun way to sort of spice oh, up yeah. your turkey. Yeah, we'll get right to it. What okay. we do is we take the take some kosher sea salt and okay. we salt the inside of the bird. I actually did this earlier before. So how do you actually? This so is, I'm like I've never. So what I a usually turkey, do so. is okay. I take the. I take the season or take some salt like this, okay. some kosher salt, okay. and I just put it on. You just rub it on the inside okay. of the bird and okay. on the inside, like down in the pocket by the breast meat, okay. down in here. Yep. And you put this on the inside, every place that you know you can't really. So don't get be too afraid. Much don't be yeah, afraid. Yeah, don't to be afraid because it's going to cook off. Okay. Okay, because when you cook the turkey by doing this br dry brining process. Yeah. What it does is it takes the juice in the meat, draws it towards the surface, okay. and then when the meat rests, it all soaks back into the into the meat that okay. you're going to slice off, and Great. it comes out nice and juicy. Okay. So okay. after after I put that on the inside, mm -hmm. I take our duck duck goose dry rub. Okay. So what's in the duck duck goose dry okay. rub, and why is it perfect for turkey? The reason why it's perfect is this has paprika, a little bit of chili powder. It's okay. got sage. Okay. Okay. Sage and thyme and black pepper, okay. a little bit of basil. So everything that you might grab out of the cabinet, all the different things you're going to have to go back this and This is grab, your one-stop shop. You're going to just grab this one thing and use it. Okay. And the way that I put it on is I usually just take a little bit of olive oil, put it over the bird. Okay. So no butter, goes. olive oil. Well, you can use butter okay. if you want. I know but some I people use, use this. butter. Yeah. yeah. You can use butter. You okay. can use margarine, anything that, you know, that you're comfortable with. Okay. I don't have any you know, specific preference myself. I just do this because my goal is, is to get the seasoning to stick to the, Got to it. the uh, turkey. Okay. okay. Yep. And all that. So once you put all that on, mm -hmm. then we just take the dry rub and we shake it over the top. It's pretty simple. And okay. just as you're doing it, you don't really have to rub it in. You just kind of put it on and go like this. With and can it, you, you be know. as liberal as you want with this? Well, you can use the whole bottle if you'd like. Really? Seriously? Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. You can tell I'm, I'm no expert at turkeys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gullible. That's so. what I am. <laughs> Sounds like it. <laughs> Thanks, but, Shannon. Appreciate but it. No problem. We're going to have some fun <laughs> while we're here. Sorry, it's at your expense. Right? No, it's it's okay. That's what so. I'm here for. But anyways, we just rub the, the bird like this, okay. cover it as much as you want. Uh -huh. um, you know, whatever you're comfortable with. A lot of times, people are worried about the salt content. Yeah, that was my question. And this is all low salt. Okay. So it's virtually no salt, really. I mean, it's like 2%. Okay. As opposed to most dry rubs. So I just cover the entire bird, every mm -hmm. place that you kind of this. takes a few minutes. So now people at home that are seeing you do this, they, you know, we're a few days away from Thanksgiving, and they're like, yes, I want to do that. Where can we find this? Okay, we are in most of the mom and pop stores around, like Spares in the north. Okay. Okay, Green Hills in the yeah, south. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're at uh, Chuck Hafner Farms. Oh, okay. Um, Geddes Bakery. We're at the Turning Stone Casino. We're Great. in their gift shop. Okay. Um, we're in Bill Anderson's Market down in uh, like Homer, New York. Okay. So out in that way, there's Great. a farm store in Pompey now, and we're in a few select Price Chopper stores also. Oh, great. So okay. we're in the Price Chopper in Clay. I know oh, that for sure. Okay, good to know. That's and helpful. we're out in some in like the Albany area. Okay. Um, we're in some some Price Chopper stores out there. And we're also in stores, you know, out of state, like Kentucky and Ohio and whatever as well. Okay. So oh, you great. put this on. And when you're cooking the turkey, you put the breast meat up. Right. Tuck the wings that in. That I know. All that, all yeah. that you know, yeah. textbook stuff that yeah. we can find online. Right. So we're going to let Let's you do that. In here. And uh, we're going to remind you that uh, if you'd like more information on Wingalings or where to purchase their rubs, we're going to put all of that up on our uh, website, localsyr.com, but you can also visit theirs, spiceitupsome.com. What a great website. Spiceitupsome.com. There we go.